Well, I mounted the fire extinguisher mount. The fire extinguisher will go right there. And I think that was kind of the least obtrusive place I could put it, find to put it. Uh, it doesn't really interfere with the pilot there and it doesn't interfere with the passenger. Now, before I had it mounted underneath the seat uh, that was kind of hard to get to. This will be easier to get to and with this wider fuselage that gives it plenty of room there so it doesn't interfere with anything. I was worried that maybe, and it still may be, that whoever's passenger is sits right about here. Their feet might go into it, but they shouldn't. Ordinarily now that it, the rudder pedal and the brake pedals would be back behind that and stop anybody's feet from getting that far forward, but those aren't in here. But that's still quite a ways forward from the back seat. I thought about putting it here on the floor in front of the back seat, and that probably would have worked but uh, it might get banged around and stuff by anybody getting in and out of the back seat and I didn't really want it back here in the baggage compartment as in it definitely get banged around and interfere with loading and unloading any uh, big baggage any tents or game meat or anything like that that we might put in so this is where I put it it's right down here uh, and just in front of the pilot seat and uh, it's back away from the rudder pedals and stuff where your feet really won't get get to it even if you pull your feet back away from the rudder pedals to adjust your position or something. I put flathead screws and countersunk washers on there just because the fire extinguisher itself will sit up proud of that bottom on those rubber mounts but that gets it down there and, and that uh, big countersink washers spread the load out over the surface of that uh, mount. Uh, I located those mount holes. I put that mount in there and located those holes and drilled them out 1164. Then I used the T nuts there on the bottom. Now, this is a bright one, it's uh, galvanized, but I, I got a bunch of those a while back and I used them in a couple other places here. I used them over where the water rudder retract cable guide mounts and back here where this bulkhead underneath the back seat goes. Yeah drill a hole through the wood the size of the barrel of that and then put a screw in there and pull it in and those little teeth uh, pull themselves right into the plywood and keep it from turning it won't shake out or anything it's there so I think those and then they got a pretty good sized base on there to s spread the load out underneath the wood so I think those work pretty good for that now I took a bunch of those when I got them and the ones that I've used in the airplane, I've got a few left, and the ones that I just put in down there, I powder coated those. So they should be pretty rust resistant. They're galvanized and then powder coated. And I put a, a bunch of tape in. I taped over the holes through the floorboards there. I've already lost a couple of washers and screws down through that floor. And I'm using stainless steel so you can't fish them out of there with a magnet. I figured I'd prevent any further incidents like that and taped off all those holes through the floorboards. Alright, there's the fire extinguisher installed. Like I said, that should be out of the way mostly. We'll see how it is getting in and out. I just have to figure out how to get in and out without kicking it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some copper safety wire, you know, 16 thousandths or something like that, and just tie that latch down so that it doesn't pop open on its own. But otherwise, that looks like that's a good spot for it.